Hello all. In continuation to our video series on mastering OpenStat, if you look into the functions in the root directory, we have almost covered all the useful functions and now we are moving into the geometry directory and like we are going to start from nodes. The very first thing we need to know would be how to create a node in stat model using OpenStat functions. Without further ado, let's begin. If you consider the geometry of any structure in STAT, nodes are their essential components. And each node is distinguished with two sets of information. Firstly, the node number and secondly, the nodal coordinates. The second information is the most important one and it's not possible to create a node without that, like that is the information of the coordinates. So. In order to create a node in STAT, we must first determine its coordinates. With these values in our hand, the process of creating a node can be easily automated using OpenStat functions. Let us get into the process. Moving on to the OpenStat library, there are actually two different functions in the name add node and create node. Actually, there is another function called add multiple node as well. As it deals with a two dimensional array, we are not going, in, going to get into that. For this video, let us concentrate on add node and create node alone. So here arise our first question. Why do we have two different functions to do the same job? How they are different from one another? Let us explore. Firstly, let's get into the syntax of add node function. The syntax seems to be very simple. We just require three variables to store the X, Y and Z position of the node. And that's it. Obviously, like uh, you would be requiring an object to store the instance or instance of stat as well. Other than that, like uh, just the three variables. So let us get into the program. I already have created a module and we are right. We are ready to write some code. Let me name the program as demo. Next, obviously an object to catch the stat instance. Like we can directly provide the coordinate values in the function itself. For now, let us provide the values directly in the function. So our function goes like this, os.geometry.addNode the coordinates. So like say the coordinate is 0, 0, 0. Uh, if you notice, like we included the word geometry in the function because the add node function is within the geometry directory. That's why like uh, we have written os.geometry. Now let's run the program and see whether it is doing its intended function or not. Yes, it worked. Now like let's get into the second function, create node. From the syntax, it is evident that in addition to the coordinates, the function is taking up the node number as well. So that is the major difference between create node and add node. By adding node, you can't specify the node number, but by creating a node, you can specify the particular node number. So if you want to create a node with specific node number, then definitely create, create node function should be our choice. Now let's see how it works with an example program. In addition to the already existing node, we are going to create a new node, which is going to be numbered as say five and let the coordinates be like six comma zero comma zero. So the syntax goes like this, os.geometry.createNode5 then comma six comma zero comma zero. That's all we need to do. So let's run the program. Yeah, it's over. And we could find our node numbered as five at the specific coordinate. Yeah, we have done it. This is the most elementary process to learn if you are about to automate the procedure of modeling any geometry in STAT. With this said, let us see you guys in our next video. Until then, it's bye from Parshit Jayan. For more videos and updates, 
please do subscribe to Structure Simplified. Thank you.